It's a testament to the late great Queen Elizabeth that her passing at the age of 96 still came as a shock. Such was the sense of permanence that she brought to this country and to the British people. She felt as much of a fixture of this country as the Lake District, the Scottish Highlands and Big Ben. But just as bad things don't last forever, neither do good. And as we once again come together to mourn her passing a year on, in so many ways, she still feels present. Her legacy, for example, lives on via a monarchy that she did so much to preserve. And via her son, Charles, who, let's be honest, served the longest apprenticeship in history. But that work and that patience has paid off with a new, noble and dynamic head of state who hitherto has protected everything that Elizabeth achieved. King Charles has largely stayed out of politics, which must be torture for him. And in my view, he's already a credible and effective figurehead, bringing together all citizens of our great nation. A celebrity can't do that. A politician most certainly can't. But a king or queen can. And I honestly don't feel that Charles has put a foot wrong so far. He has demonstrated a work ethic that comfortably matches that of his own mother, even though, and it's all too easy to forget, he himself is no teenager at the age of 74. Flanked by his fine and agreeable wife, Queen Camilla, this new partnership is one the public are quietly warming to. Charles and Camilla have slipped into their new role with effortless, fuss-free, fanfare-free talents. They haven't gone showbiz, thank God. Although whilst Charles has been very active, I would like to see a bit more of her indoors. Whilst the prodigal prince Harry continues his world privacy tour with self-congratulatory documentaries and tell-all books, Charles' son William has gained stature as Prince of Wales. And the professional, discreet and humble way in which he and Kate are going about their public duties is in stark contrast to the prince and princess of Woke over in the US. In fact, the bitchiness and brickbats thrown at the royal family in this country from Prince Harry, the world's least happy millionaire, have cemented the popularity of the remaining royals. And to a man and woman, they have very wisely stayed silent in relation to the unending attacks from California, ignoring this right royal crybaby. And whilst top royal insider Charles Brandreth is right to point out that Prince Harry's behaviour would have caused the Queen huge distress if she were here today, she would also be gratified by the current state of the monarchy in this country and the overwhelming support from the public that it continues to enjoy. All thanks to the foundations laid by Elizabeth over seven decades. But like those crown jewels that adorn her head, the Queen was an irreplaceable gem. There is so much to miss. We miss her smile. We miss her grace. We miss her elegance. We miss her measured judgment, her infinite wisdom. We miss her tartan skirts, the headscarves, the hat, coat and dress combos. We miss the umbrellas, the buckled shoes, the regal hairdo which curled up at the front. And we miss her driving a Range Rover around Balmoral, often doing more than 20. We miss the Roberts radio and Tupperware at her breakfast table. We miss her ability to unite, not divide. We miss her hard work, her sense of duty, her commitment. We miss her stoicism, her toughness, her inability, her refusal to suffer fools gladly. She was no pushover, no shrinking violet. When needed, she was an iron hand wrapped in a velvet glove. And she handled every prime minister from Churchill to Truss with equanimity and calm. We miss her authenticity and her star quality. At once, she was both real and unreal. And she was always sustained by the quiet, firm and relentless power of her character. Strangely majestic, strangely down to earth, what an impossible mix this woman was. We will never see her like again, but her legacy will be with us forever. Wham bam! Thank you, ma'am. A year on, you leave us with sorrow at your passing, but joy for what you left behind.